are at West Grove Creek, and it's an area that the Squamish River Watershed Society was able to partner last year with Fisheries and Oceans and with the Squamish Stream Keepers to basically enhance this water course that was face going dry and becoming ephemeral. And we wanted to bring it back to provide year-round habitat for coho, cutthroat, and steelhead. So we came in last year and deepened all these channels out and accessed the groundwater and have this beautiful flowing water course. Unfortunately, it's at the loss of the amphibians that were in this habitat. So now the amphibians are having to compete with the fish. So I'm really excited to be able to explore doing wetland um, construction adjacent to here on the old highway bed. This is all an old highway channel. All old highway 99, back I think in the 70s, 80s. I don't remember when they jacked the highway far over to the east and they certainly upgraded it 2003-2004. Um, We'll be using liners and we've got a whole series. It's, it's a linear corridor, so it's not going to look necessarily the most natural at the end of the day, but we've got lots of red-legged frogs in here. I don't know how successful the spawning is because we've got all the competition for eating up those little tadpoles, but if we do isolated wetlands on the upper side, I think the red-legged frogs are going to just explode in population. I think if we put wetlands along the old road bed, I don't think the amphibians would climb up a very dry, rocky wall for 15 or 20 or 30 feet as we walk further north to get onto the highway. There is a concrete barrier um, on the shoulder, so it adds an additional protection to prevent any amphibian road crossings and um, subsequent road kills. Mm -hmm. But we would be monitoring this really closely over the following years once we put these wetlands into place to see if there is any threat of roadkill from the amphibians. But ideally, the amphibians already want to be in West Brom Creek. We're going to be making habitat adjacent, so we've got lots of naturalized forest. This is an old logging area maintained and managed as the Brom Lake Interpretive Forest. There are no um, proposed cut blocks anywhere in here. They never will. We're within a riparian and a highway right-of-way. So it's an extremely secure section of the